بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ ہی وی ہیو ایم آئی برین آف تھری منتھ اولڈ بیبی ہو پرزینٹڈ ود فیور اینڈ فٹس وی کین سی ہیڈ سائز از ریلیٹیولی انکریزڈ اینڈ دیر آر پرومیننٹ سب ریکنوائڈ اسپیسز اراؤنڈ فرنٹ آف رائٹ لوبس انٹیریئرلی آن بوتھ سائڈس this is axial flare and this one is axial t2 weighted sequence and here we have sagittal t2 weighted sequence we can see in there is uh, mild enlargement of subarachnoid space around temporal lobes interiorly as well while there is uh, diffuse thinning of uh, corpus callosum mid brain pons medulla oblongata cerebellum is unremarkable with normal spinal junction and uh, brain parenchyma in periventricular region appears unremarkable in this age group so this is a typical example of uh, benign enlargement of uh, subarachnoid spaces Usually, infants are referred by the pediatrician for the assessment of uh, etiology of enlarged head size and uh, sometimes we see minimal enlargement of the ventricle size with prominent extraaxial CSO spaces or subarachnoid spaces. But here in this case, we see that ventricular size is normal and uh, there is no other gray or white matter abnormality except mild diffuse thinning of uh, corpus callosum in this benign enlargement of the subarachnoid spaces in infancy is also known as benign external hydrocephalus and it is the most common cause of macrocephaly and is common in the males as compared to females they are also associated with scaphocephaly Basically, they are discovered incidentally when patients undergo neuroimaging for the workup of macrocephaly. And uh, etiology for such processes is unknown. In literature, it has been mentioned as a variation for normal development of the brain, whereby there is transient accommodation of CSF in frontal regions. It has also been mentioned in CSF. literature that it could be because of delayed development of uh, arachnoid villi at sagittal sinus leading to accumulation of csf condition resolves spontaneously at the age of around 2 years but macrocephaly may persist while subarachnoid space fluid collection will resolve or become minimal as the child grows older although this condition is benign but this has uh, increased risk of subdural hemorrhage which could either be spontaneously or following minimal trauma thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah